Damn it. Nomitome's hospital room. Should I say his farmer room? Ooh, a newspaper. And some dumplings. Is that flour in that container? You make pointless observations while in the room. Well, yeah, why not? Greetings from the foggy land of Inaba. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Persona 4. I thought she is not here either. What the? I swear he ran this way! Damn. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? Nope. I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. Or he could have escaped out a window. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. That idiot! <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. With pleasure. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, he might have jumped in there. Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? Yeah. We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Let's go tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. Is it because all of her equipment is stashed there? Is that why we can't enter from any other TV? It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Uh, I doubt it'll take one day. The extremely suspicious detective Adachi. You've been taken another step closer to the truth. Another rank up! up today and all of you went back home a lot has happened today it would be best to go to sleep early and get ready to go off to the real culprit the velvet room again It seems you have come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something's different this time. You don't see Igor or Margaret. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? You're in a limousine. Someplace in... somewhere. Sensei? Why are you here? I have no idea. I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. Quit smiling at me. There are so serious. many things I don't know about. 
But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. That's not true. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. But everyone's worried. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. That's not true. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. This limo? And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. Nothing wrong with that. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. Again, not true. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Apologize for what? Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Again, not true. Tell her. I'm really sorry. Are you even listening to me? You saved her, Teddy. Huh? Really? Yeah. You told Teddy how Nanako came through. Nana chance. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Hmm, I guess. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Something like that. Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. I'm glad I met you too. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Max out! Thou has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. 
bestow upon the ability to create hell, the ultimate form of the Star Arcana. Is it like Hell Hell or something? Vincent the Burr has forged a bond yet cannot be broken. By mastering the soul star social link, you can now fuse Hell, the light bearer. But I have to get going. Why? This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Before you know it, Teddy is gone, and Igor and Margaret are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. Oh? This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Hmm, very interesting. Very symbolic. Too bad I don't know what you're talking about. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. True. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. What about the other guests you had? Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. Ah, yes, so is a lot of other people. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Juness, Electronics Department. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Ugh, that annoying little furball! Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Right. I seriously don't think I have to do that. Whoa! Look how dense this fog is! It's gotten even worse than before! Yeah. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. Why aren't we wearing glasses on the other side then? And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side? Yeah. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear, anyway? Beats me. Well... I can say for sure he's not here. What? And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted! Why aren't you here when we need you most?
So we can't track down Adachi, but we know he's on the other side. Wait, what? This place. Huh. I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan. I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... my big bro... and... Everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown. Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow, but Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Does he actually have a heart? Teddy's persona has been reborn. Uh, Toji Doot Doji has transmogrified into Kami. I'm saying those all wrong, I know. Ignoring my right. trans. I need uh, to get back to the pronunciation others. Er errors about that. Him, of course. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risei-chan. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. What a shame. But he was always there to support me whenever. That's true. <laughs> that bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's light-hearted and always optimistic. Are you okay? I'm alright. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Don't push yourself. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. I guess. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Whee! 
again, I don't see why that's necessary anymore. I'll just do it anyway. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? Teddy? <laughs> um... Rise-chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. I'm gonna end it here. This looks like a nice place to, like, stop and then pick up next time because I just can read the text and it doesn't require me to constantly advance and whatnot. So, tune in again for more Persona 4.